So guys, now we are going to create the simple registration form. In which case, we are going to have multiple input fields over here, along with the password input field as well. And when the user gets the mouse cursor on any of the input fields, as you can see, when we click on this input field over here, we are going to get this feedback with the help of this box shadow on that input field. So guys, basically, when you click on any of the input fields over here, we will have the box shadow for that particular input field. And apart from this, when we get the mouse cursor on this register button it is going to scale itself with the help of the scale function so guys we are going to create this registration form so let us move to the vs code so now we will create another folder over here inside the html css projects we will name it as registration form so guys basically we have this new folder that is created inside this we are going to create the html and the css files so basically we have the index.html file and the style.css file which will be the external style sheet over here now guys inside the html file we are going to create this html document and then we will have the title that is registration form over here for the title tag and then we will also link the external style sheet with the help of this link tag over here so we have the href it is equal to style.css file now guys over here inside the body tag we will have the div tag with the class container inside which we are going to have the different input fields that will help the user in order to complete the registration so guys basically we have this div tag with the class container over here now let us provide certain input fields over here so we use the input tag along with the type it is equal to text and then the first input field will be the full name over here we will also keep the id value as same that is full name this time and then we will also have the placeholder and we will say enter full name over here so guys basically we have the full name as the first input field apart from this let us also have the class attribute this time and then we will say input hyphen field over here so guys basically we are going to provide certain css properties to this class name and then after this let us provide certain line breaks over here so we have couple of line breaks this time now guys similarly we will provide more input fields over here so let me just copy paste this line of code and then after the full name we will ask the user to provide the username over here and then the same value we will provide for the id part as well and for the placeholder as well and then for the third input field we will ask the user to provide a password so that the user can set the username and password over here so basically we have the password as the third field and then we will ask to confirm the password so basically user is supposed to provide the password once again so that there is no mistake that is made by the user so basically we have confirmed password as the placeholder this time guys for these two input fields that is password and confirm Confirm password we will keep the type as password over here so that it is not visible to anyone else on the screen so basically we have set the type as password over here and then guys in the end we want the email of the user to be set so basically so we have provided the name value as email over here and also the id as well and for the placeholder as well we have updated the enter email this time so guys basically we have all these input fields inside the container and then guys after this also we will provide the button as well for registration so simply we provide the button tag over here and also we will provide the class as register over here so this is the button tag with the class register and also we will have the text that is register for this particular button let me just save this file now and start the server so that we can see the changes on the web page so guys as you can see these are all the input fields by default that are getting displayed over here we have not provided any css properties so far so guys basically we are going to provide the css properties one by one in order to make this registration form look more attractive so guys what we will do is inside the style.css file first of all we will make use of this class name that is container over here so we simply provide dot followed by the container class and then we will have the width of 30 percent so let's say we have the width of 30 percent over here also we will provide certain background color so let's say we have this light version of green color as the background color this time so let me just save this file now as you can see we have this light version of the green color as the background color over here apart from this we will also set the display it is equal to flex and since all the flex items must be present 
in a column so basically we will set the flex direction as column over here so when we save this file now as you can see these are all the flex items that are displayed right now now guys apart from this we also want to set the padding as well so simply we will keep the padding as 20 pixels and also we will provide certain border radius over here so we provide the border radius of 20 pixels once again we will provide the box shadow so over here we will provide 10 pixels of blur effect with the color that is black color over here when we save this file now as you can see this is the registration form that is getting displayed this time now guys apart from this we also want the margin it is equal to auto so that we can get the registration form at the center of the screen over here as far as the horizontal alignment is concerned so as you can see this is a very simple registration form that the user can use in order to register himself or herself now guys after this let us provide certain css properties for these input fields over here so simply we are going to make use of this class name that is input hyphen field so let me just copy this class name and then inside the style.css file we will make use of this class name over here first of all let us provide certain padding so let's say we have the padding of 10 pixels over here also we have the border radius of 10 pixels let me just save this file now as you can see this is the way that the registration form is getting displayed this time apart from this let us also remove the line breaks that we have provided since it is creating the extra spaces in between the input fields so guys over here we have only kept one line break let me just save this file now and as you can see these are all the input fields that are getting displayed over here now guys what we want to do is when the user gets the mouse cursor over here and clicks on any of the input fields we want a certain box shadow to be provided to these input fields so simply inside the style.cs SS file we have to make use of this class name that is input field over here and we will make use of the pseudo class that is focus this time so guys basically this pseudo class is responsible in order to provide any css properties when the user gets the mouse cursor on the input field and clicks inside the input field over here so that is the time when those css properties will be applied so guys over here what we will do is simply we will provide the box shadow over here and this time we will say 10 pixels of box shadow and we will provide the blue color as the box shadow this time when we save this file now when we get the mouse cursor over here and click on it as you can see we are getting the blue color over here and when we click on the other input fields as well we are getting the blue color as the box shadow let us increase the blur effect to 15 pixels over here when we save this file now as you can see the blue color is now getting more visible over here with the light green background color that we have provided to the container now guys apart from this let us also provide certain css properties to this register button over here so simply we will make use of this register class and then we will provide certain css properties to this register class by using the dot character so over here first of all we will provide the width as minimum content over here let me just save this file now as you can see only the required page is being taken by this particular button also for this container we will set the align items so that we get all the items at the center of the container so when we say align items it is equal to center as you can see all the input fields and the register button is now at the center of the container and for the input field we will set the width as 80 percent over here so that there is no extra spaces that is left as you can see on the left hand side and the right hand side of the input fields so basically we will keep the width as 80 percent over here so as you can see 80 percent of the space is being taken by all the input fields this time now guys for the register button let us provide more css properties over here so we will provide the background color over here as green color also we will set the color as white color that is the font color over here and then apart from this we will also set the padding of let's say 5 pixels this time and the border radius as well so simply we will say border radius of 10 pixels and we save this file now as you can see this is the button that is getting displayed over here we will also remove the border so simply we will say border it is equal to none and let us increase the padding to 10 pixels this time so this is a decent register button that is getting displayed over here also we want to change the cursor icon so we will set the cursor it is equal to pointer so when we get the mouse cursor over here on the register button it is getting converted to the hand tool over here 
Now guys, apart from this, when the user gets the mouse cursor on this register button, we want to scale the button. So how we can do that? So simply we will make use of the hover pseudo class over here. So we will say register colon hover and then simply we will say transform and this time we will make use of the scale and it should scale by 1.2 times over here so when we save this file now and when we get the mouse cursor over here as you can see the button is scaling itself by 1.2 times that we have provided and if we want the smooth transition simply we will provide the transition css property to this register button over here so we provide transition and we will say all and this time we will say 0.5 seconds as the timing when we save this file now and now when we get the mouse cursor as you can see there is a smooth transition that is happening over here the register button is increasing its size so guys basically this is the way that you can provide the transition effect to any of the html elements based on your requirements and then guys when we get the mouse cursor over here and click on any of the input fields basically we are getting the box shadow of the blue color this time so that the user gets the feedback that this is the input field that is getting clicked and you are supposed to provide the data inside this field so guys simply let us provide certain data over here so we have programming for beginners that is the name of this youtube channel which you should definitely subscribe if you have not done so and let us provide the programming as the username also we will provide the password so let's say we provide some password over here and also we want to confirm password so simply we provide the password and then we will provide a certain email id over here so program at gmail.com and then simply the user have to go to register over here in order to register himself or herself so guys this is a very simple registration form that we have created just by using the plain html and the css properties so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video in which we are going to create more html and the css projects so Stay tuned.